hello everyone i hope everything is great so in earlier video of html forms we learn few of the html elements like input and label form element as well as we discuss about few of the input type like text and password and submit button and we just create the login form today we will discuss some more input types like radio button checkbox button and other things so let's start without wasting time so first of all i add some break line here so that our form will look like a form copy this thing and add one here save this go to form refresh maybe we need to take two okay so this is our simple sign up form and as we are implemented four <coughs> attribute in the labels so if we click on the labels that will also focus the input and here user can enter these things right so as we use the submit button and give the text login and when this button is clicked the value is submitted to the browser same way we have another button which is the reset button for that instead of giving type submit we give the reset save this go to here refresh so this is the reset button and what is the benefit of this reset button so this just clear the form with their default values so let's see uh, we have a default value for the username right during the form processing user add instead of john some maybe ali and now if we tap on the reset the form is in his default state and all the fields have the default values as they have the initial so this button is basically used for resetting the complete form in their initial state this is also one another type of input we can simply give input type reset if we want to change the text reset to some other thing so we can also give that thing as well with the value attribute and i give the re hyphen set okay now as you can see this value is updated accordingly so this is the simple form let's discuss few more input types first we discuss the radio button so i add here description for the radio button so radio basically this will allow user to select only one choice from available choices so if there are multiple options are available and user want to select only one in that scenario we can use the radio button let's create one form and add the input type and give the value radio and simply close this button save this thing go to here refresh and you can see 
by default input type radio will display the radio button in this design and user can select it and it's already selected so if let's we can also add the label for this and how we associate this label to this input as we discussed earlier we need to add the id attribute for a specific input let's give the name uh, javascript and same we need to give the four and we can give javascript in the label you can see javascript now if we tap on this label that will also select this radio button so same way let me create one case i copy this thing and paste to three times type is same id i just changed to html so I need to change the four and change the label HTML. Same way in third option, we give the CSS, okay, and as well as change the four and label. Go to browser, refresh. You can see there are three options available. If user tap on any one, that is selected. But as we know, radio is used when user can only select the one choice. How we do this? So basically radio buttons comes in the group form. And for that, we need to use the name attribute of input. Name. Let me give. language and the same name we need to give to other two input buttons here and as well as here save this thing so i give name attribute to all three inputs go to browser refresh you can see now if i tap on the html this radio button is selected if I'm tapping on the JavaScript, then automatically HTML deselects and JavaScript is selected. If I tap on CSS, you can see whenever user tap on any radio button, previous selected radio button is automatically deselected. And user can select only the one option from here. Right? now what i did let me try to add the input type reset button and check if it's work or not save this thing go to here refresh by default this is the state if i tap on reset then this home values are also reset so we can say this will reset this form value to the initial value just for the good reference what i did i add the new line tag here two types copy this or we can say the single one and paste it after each label So this way, reset, go to this initial value. If you want to select any input by default, I think you need to use the checked attribute of the input. Let's try this. Okay. 
so as we applied checked attribute to the second input so this is now default selected if user wants he can change their choice from here and if you want to reset this will reset this if user apply this checked attribute to multiple inputs let's see what happen in that case last input that have this checked attribute is only selected and others are deselected you can see now in HTML we applied for HTML and for CSS checked attribute but only one is selected if I select JavaScript tap on reset it's again go to the default so that's all about the radio buttons now if we want to select multiple options how we can do that for that scenario we can use the checkboxes so this will allow user to select more options from the available options may see we can select multiple options so here what we did let me quickly add this form here input type checkbox save this first thing so you can see the radio buttons have the default style with the rounded circle where it have the we can say rectangle or square circle he can select or deselect it same as we did in the radio button we need to add the label label let me give the same value and if we want to associate this with this input we need to use the id attribute and use this id attributes value inside label in the for attribute so that now this input is associates with this checkbox and if user tap on this this checkbox is selected okay so what is the case we need to give the ID as the unique value otherwise it select this so what we did I give the lang1 go to here refresh now if I select this it will associate with this so ID attribute should be unique in the page otherwise this will select the first occurrence of the ID that is the case right same way what we did now we copy this and paste it three times HTML CSS it's lang2 so we need to change the 4 as well if we change to 3 we need to change the 4 as 3 so if we now we select CSS HTML JavaScript you can see and we can also use the same checked attribute here for default selecting of any of the checkbox right we can also we need to use the name attribute lang1 For this input, we need to use the name 
line 2 and at the last input so this is the example of check boxes we can also use the checked attribute what is the difference between radio button and the check boxes in radio button we can only select the single value whereas in check box we can select or deselect any values so like javascript is selected we can deselect it but we can't deselect the radio button yes so these are basically difference we have the value attribute for these input as well but that is not visible in the html form when we submit the form these values go to the server side so if you want we can give the value here java script let's assume go to here refresh so that value is not visible in html but when we submit this form this value go to the server for processing right so these are the three types that we discussed today one more type which is the simple button as we discussed two buttons this is the submit button this is the reset button submit button is used for submitting this uh, form data to the server reset button is basically used for the resetting the form values in the initial state we also have one more button if user want to do some action on this page only instead of submitting the response we can add a simple button for that input type button let me save this go to here refresh by default it does not have any value so we need to give value click me you can see this button now have this text for better visualization we need to add one more break line here okay. we can add some action here maybe on click and I give a random string here refresh when I tap it now this alert box will be displayed so this alert is basically the part of JavaScript I just add this for the example we will discuss this thing in the JavaScript tutorial so for now just remember for altering any message in the web page we use the alert method and this on click is basically the property of HTML. We add this on click, and whenever user tap on this, this alert box is shown with the message that we passed in this method alert. Hello, I am here. So this message is shown. So if we want to do, or if we want to allow user to do some actions in the HTML page, we can use. The, you can use these simple buttons like this. So for this video, that's all. In this video, we discuss few of the input types like checkbox, radio button, simple button and reset button. In next video, we learn some more input types. So if you have any question for this video, you can comment on this video and definitely I include those questions in the next video. If you like this video, then like it share it and as well as subscribe my channel for now that's it bye bye guys